Hi there. Today we're going to practice counting by twos, fives, and tens. So what does it mean to count by two, fives, and tens? That really means that you're skip counting. And if you look at our cat here, he's skipping. So I want you to think about that when you're practicing, that you're actually skipping along the numbers. Okay? So you're going to skip count. Think of our cat, think about yourself. If you're running along and skipping along between things, you're jumping over certain things. So in this case, we're going to be jumping over different numbers. So let's go practice some skip counting. So here we have a bunch of apples, and they are all over the place. So how are we going to count them up? Well, we could count them each up and start by counting here and be like one and then two and so on till we find out how many are there. But that's going to take us but fairly long time. So there are faster ways to do it. So if you look, we've now arranged them in groups of two. So do you think it'd be faster for us to count them by twos or to count them by ones? You're right, if we count by twos, it'll go much quicker. So let's count up by twos. So we have two here, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and then 20. So we have counted all the way up, and that was fairly quick. We've made figured out how many of the apples are there because we organized them in groups of twos. But there's a way we could do it even faster. Now they're in groups of five. So instead of in twos, we have five now, and you see they're organized into four groups of five. So let's count those up. We have five, another five would be 10, another five would be 15, and another five would be 20. So is that even faster? You're right, it is even faster. So let's see, there's one more way we're going to do it that's even quicker. Now we have them in groups of 10. So if we can count in groups of 10, it'll be much quicker. So here we have 10. And if we skip and do another 10, up from 10, would be 20. Look at that. Say it with me. 10, 20. That was really, really quick. So now we've skip counted by twos, fives, and tens. You'll note that with the larger numbers, it becomes faster and quicker and makes it a lot quicker for us to figure out how many apples we have. When you're skip counting in twos or fives or tens, it's a fast way to count a grouped thing. So if you have two apples or five oranges, Anything that you can organize into groups will make it quicker and it makes it a lot faster. So let's review one more time. Let's count together. Two, four, six, eight, ten. How about by fives? Ready? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And then by tens? My favorite. Let's do it again. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty. Skip counting is a lot of fun and it's a fast way for you to get up into big, big numbers. So go out and practice it. Can't wait to talk to you about math soon.